All right, this is the Algebra 2 Practice EOC question 63, and it says, what are all the roots of x cubed minus 3x squared minus x plus 3? Okay, again, this is one of those questions that you see this word roots here, and you're probably thinking, what in the world is that? Okay, well, in Algebra 2, what I tell my students is that if you see a root, that's the same thing as a solution an x-intercept and a zero. All four of these words, they kind of use these interchangeably just to make sure that you know what you're talking about, okay? So now, what you're going to look at or what you're going to do is you're going to try to factor this if you, at all, if you can and then set it equal to zero. That's one way you can do this, okay? So since you have something that has four terms, again, you know that your first step should be to take out a GCF if you can. Well, there isn't a factor that you can take out of all of these. So what you're going to do is you're going to have to factor by grouping, which means I'm going to put my first and my second together and then I'm going to put my third and my fourth together when I try to factor by grouping and again factoring by grouping means I'm just taking out my GCF pretty much so I should have x cubed again putting my first and second together minus 3x squared that's my first group and then my second group is going to be the negative x plus 3 okay well now that we have our groups, we just need to take our GCF. We need to figure out what we can take out of both of these terms here. Well, we can take out an x squared, okay? When we take out an x squared, and again, look at it like this. If we had three x's before, and then we took out two of them, we now only have one. We didn't do anything to our number, so I just rewrote it. We had two x's, we took out both of them, so we don't have any x's there okay so that's our first portion well now the second portion again we c there's not really anything that we can take out here but you also don't want to have a negative variable when you're factoring by grouping so you pretty much want to try to get rid of that if you can okay so if you take out a negative one it's going to change the sign of everything on the inside so it's going to become an x minus three the way you know if you've done grouping correctly is because you'll be able to tell that these two binomials are the same, okay? If they are the same, then you know that you've done this correctly, okay? Well, now all you have to do is use this binomial as one of your answers, so x minus 3, and then use your GCFs as your other binomial, so you'll have x squared minus 1. and then set those equal to zero and solve okay so if I take x minus 3 set it equal to zero all I have to do is add 3 to both sides because that's the opposite of subtraction that goes away and one of our answers should be x equals 3 and then we do the same thing we should take our x squared minus 1 set it equal to zero add 1 on both sides you'd have x squared equals this positive one here and the way you get rid of something squared is by taking the square root of it the way you get rid of something that's raised to the third power or ra get rid of something that's cubed is you take the cubed root of it okay so in this problem we're gonna need to take the square root and whenever you take the square root of something squared again you're saying that it's squared so you're supposed to get two answers so that's where your plus and minus is gonna come from okay that's where your two answers are gonna come from like I said, when you take the square root of x squared, you're just going to have an x. And when you take the square root of 1, well, the square root of 1 is just 1. So your other two answers is going to be a positive 1 and a negative 1. Again, at the beginning of this problem, you could, have told, you could have figured out that you're supposed to have three answers because the highest exponent that you have here was a 3. So you see that we have 1 two, three answers. So our correct answer for this problem is going to be choice D. I'm sorry, let me make sure. I, no, choice C. Sorry, I can't read my own answer choices, all my work. It's negative one, positive one, and then positive three, so it's going to end up being C. If that didn't make sense to you, another thing that you could do is you could kind of plug this formula, as I have all this calculator mumbo-jumbo all over the place, 
you can plug in this formula here where you have x to the third power minus 3x squared minus x plus 3 and then press graph and it will graph that problem for you and kinda like I said before what you're looking for are your roots or your zeros or your x-intercepts which means where this graph is gonna cross your x-axis and you can see that it will cross your x-axis at those points that we figured out already at negative 1 positive 1 and then positive 3 so again you get to your answer pretty quickly of seeing that it's going to be C good luck I hope this helps